can't wait to try out this new game. I'm gonna create a character that looks like me. Oh yeah, I like it. What's up? Why aren't you out yet? I hope you didn't forget about the meeting. Oh, of course not. I noted it down on my phone. I was concerned you were stuck in front of the mirror, admiring your new tattoo. It's on my neck. I can't see it in the mirror. Well, at least the shy admirers behind you will have a reason to initiate a conversation. Like, you mean, the wow, cool tattoo, what does it mean, conversation? Exactly. Now you'll know how many people stare at you when you're not looking. Which tattoo did you get? I went with a compass design. Show me, show me, show me. <laughs> okay, fine. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, well, you designed it. And I was sure it would look perfect on you. Oh, someone's at the door, I gotta go. Oh, before you go, my printer was dead, so I sent you the flyers. Flyers? Yeah, I made a few designs for Alfred. Couldn't choose which one was the best. And you want my photographer's expertise to pick the right colors? Exactly. Glad we're on the same page. Okay, really need to go. See you at the Bean. Please hurry up. Alfred's gonna be here soon. Don't forget the flyers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye. Hello? A letter for you, miss. Thank you. Have a nice day. Dear Miss Milda, writing to inform you, sorry for your loss. Huh? The death of your grandfather, Rokas Kovas. Oh. Uh, according to the will of the deceased, you have inherited the house and the belongings in it? Huh. Address in Lithuania. Please arrive before the mentioned date. If you fail to sign the certificate, the house will be sold at an auction? That's just two weeks away. <sighs> wow. Okay, this is too much. I need to go meet Dana. I'll deal with this later. This one looks fine. I'll print it. I should get some pants on first. father died. Oh, f crap. I'm so sorry. Are you okay? I'm not bothered. I barely knew him. However, I did inherit his house. Oh, congrats, I guess. But the house is in Lithuania. With where now? As I was saying, 
I own a house in Europe now. However, if I don't go there to claim it, in two weeks it's going to be sold at an auction. So, it seems you're talking to a future former owner of a house. Wait, you mean you're not going there? I'm broke. That's an even bigger reason to go. You sell the house and you're a rich woman. With what money would I travel? I'll figure it out. In two weeks? Hmm. Listen, I know it's going to be a pain talking to him, but if Alfred agrees to finance my exhibition, then perhaps I could lend you a part of my advance for the plane ticket. Then once you've sold the house, you give it back. Does that sound okay? And what if I say no? Then you'll have to help me regardless. And eventually I'll convince you to go anyway. Okay. What do I have to do? Just check that everything's ready for him. Make him feel comfortable and make sure nothing goes wrong. Oh, and Melda, you know what they say. Don't be proactive, be reactive. Do they say that? I just said that. <laughs> Fine. Let's do it. Excuse me, sir? Hey there, chicklet. What are you playing? It's blues, girl. How's it going? On a day like this, all that matters is the flow of music. Never mind. keeps getting blown off by the wind. Oh, this can't happen when Alfred is here. This is gonna be a disaster. It's gonna be fine, it's just one painting. You have no idea, Melta. He's a stickler for perfection. I've repaired everything. Business cards, mood boards, venue options, selling points, foot charts, chewing gum. Oh, uh, chewing gum? For my breath. Right. I'm a painter, I can't handle this business crap. Okay, okay, I'm with you, we'll manage. I'll make sure everything's perfect. May I have some of that gum? Sure. Thanks. Talk to you later. Yep. Oh. Oh. I can't feel my tongue. Everything 
seems to be set. Dana, here you are. Hi, Alfred, nice to see you. Have you met Milda? Who is that? A friend. She modeled for some of my paintings. I see. Well, she looks better in the paintings. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> so, um, uh, shall we talk about the exhibition financing possibility? Uh, I'm a bit parched from all the speed walking. Hey, Blondie, uh, fetch me something refreshing, will ya? And what's with that trumpet noise? I can hardly hear myself think. Do something about it. My name is Milda, and I'm not your servant. <laughs> She'll deal with it, won't you? <sighs> sure, whatever. Ooh, the chewing gum effect is gone. <laughs> I can feel my tongue again. What about this one? Maybe. You'd be having my special refreshing lemonade? Yes, please. And this? Eh, uh, not sure. And here's your drink. Have a nice day, miss. Now, this one's got something. Mm hmm. Perfectly balanced lemonade. Hmm, this might be an investment opportunity. What about this one? Hmm? Can I borrow some coins? More? Yeah, thanks. Talk to you later. Yep. I really don't want to say anything about life and lemons. Hi! Yes. Hey, you're back! Uh, not sure. About those lemons. Yes? No. Can I buy that pure lemon juice instead of lemonade? Why would you want something like that? You know, I actually like the sour taste very much. No way! No one sane would enjoy pure lemon juice. Just let me try, I'll prove it. All right, I'll pour you a little. And if you don't make a face, I'll sell you a glass. Great. Here you go. Cool. And this? Uh, not sure. Oh, oh, I can't feel my tongue. You have no taste buds. Maybe that's why I like it. Okay, miss. You proved your point. Ooh, the chewing gum effect is gone. Oh, we could work with I can feel my tongue again. Cool. And this? You'd be having my special refreshing lemonade? No, I'd like to have pure lemon juice. Well, all right. Deal is a deal. It'll cost you the same as a glass of lemonade. What about this one? Here's the super extreme sour juice you wanted. Enjoy. Well, we could work with that. Cool. Yes? Can I borrow some coins? Again? Really? I know, I know. Talk to you later. Yep. And this? Uh, not sure. Hi! Could you stop playing for like oh, 20 minutes or so? Stop playing? Now why would I do that? The music is disturbing other people in the park. 
disturbing other people? Who could be disturbed by blues? Well, it's disturbing me. Hey, I got a right to play my trumpet here as much as you got the right to pester me about it. Cool. Me and my friend are trying to suck up to this businessman to get a good deal. He doesn't like that you're playing here. Girl, you got to fight the power. Never do what someone else says if you don't believe in it. Now, this one's got something. Blues is kind of outdated. I don't think you should play it. What you say? You hating on the classics, Chicklet? Chicago blues ain't never going to die. It's in the veins of this city. Uh, forget I asked. Never mind. Good work with that. Cool. And this? Uh, not sure. Now, this one's got something. Mm hmm. Hey, what are you doing there? Uh, nothing. This one. Maybe. Well, we could work with that. Cool. And this? Uh, not sure. Ah, finally I'm feeling grounded. Let's talk details. What's your selling point, Dana? Where does your inspiration come from? Well, I like capturing moments of real life. Even the most mundane places and people always have something that catches our attention. I like to call it inspiration from the routine. Some might call it a lack of imagination. Uh... Perhaps it depends on personal taste. There's a niche for everyone. I agree. If I like it, I like it. And I like it. One thing, however, is you don't want to get stale. The style has potential, but the substance will box you in. Experiment a bit. Pink cosmic vibes, you know? Uh... Uh-huh. Did you bring any, uh, promotional material? Nilda, do you have the flyers? Of course. Okay, let's see it. Now this one's got something. There you go. Wow, do you want to hurt my eyes? Horrible. I hate it. I, I can't connect with it at all. Got anything better? Mm -hmm. oh, this one looks fine. I'll print it. What about this one? Maybe. There you go. Ah, yes, I see it working. The design, the colors, the model, the clothes. I'm feeling it, Dana. There's one last thing, though. Yeah? You need some kind of a mascot. Mascot? Yes, yeah, something that would liven up the exhibition, like, like a symbol, a themed object that would excite people. A live promoter, perhaps. What about Milda? Yeah, why not? You're in a third of my paintings anyway. Now that's, that's what I'm talking about. All the right parts in all the right places. Listen, Dana, I like the art and the prep you did for all this. I'll send you the advance and we'll talk more next week. Really? 
Awesome. Thank you, sir. I can't wait to work with you. All right. Good talk. We'll keep in touch. Stay cool, Blondie. Yeah, I'll try. Oh my god, you are such a squishy wuss with him. <laughs> yeah, well, it worked, Blondie. Don't you dare, Dana. Just kidding. You, however, were trying pretty hard to mess it up. Hey, if not for me, you'd never have gotten the money. Excuse me? Yeah, I mean, who did all the work here? Me. Who's got the right flyers? Me. Who's gonna be the mascot? Yeah, yeah, I get it, Miss Self-Centered. The question is, though, are you ready to beg for your plane ticket? No, please, have mercy, Da Vinci. I like that. Fine, you are forgiven. I just have to pack up my stuff. Let's meet up at your place to celebrate and discuss your thing, okay? Sure. See you later. You pumped? Ready to get that plane ticket? Uh, I guess, but there's still lots to think about. Like what? Where would I stay? Hmm, you've got a few friends in Lithuania. Eh, mostly acquaintances. What about the guy who's crazy about languages? You mean yours? Yeah, him. I don't know if it's okay to just barge in on him like that. You won't know if you don't ask. Huh, I'll text him. Anything else you're concerned about? What if I need help over there? Did you ask your mom? She might have connections there. Oh, I don't think it's a good idea. Why not? Mom wouldn't want to know. I don't get it. Dana, when Dad left for Lithuania, the last thing we got was a letter saying he's done with us. My mom's got a new life now. Yeah, I see your point. But it's kind of a big thing. I still think you should call her. <sighs> yeah, I'll think about it. Good. What else is bothering you? I've got to decide what to pack. Just make a list on your phone and pick the things you need. But I need everything. Make compromises, babe. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Anything else? That's it. I'll start getting ready. Good. You need to get a ticket, and then I'll help you pack. All <laughs> right. Yeah, I should check my computer. Oh, finally. I found something that I can actually afford. I made the list, Dana. H how do I use that app to, like, merge the notes? Are you ancient or something? Select one note, then select the one you want to combine it with. Done. Oh, okay. Thanks. Great, I've got all the essentials down. It'll be easy to pack. There, all done.
Hello. Hey, Mom. Yes, Milda. I'm a bit flooded with work. Did you need something? Yeah, I kind of have something important to tell you. What is it? Are you pregnant? What? No. I, I got a letter from a law firm today. Oh? Are you in trouble? No, I'm not. The letter is from Lithuania. What? Grandpa Rock has died. Okay. I'll get to the point then. He left me his house. And what about it? I'm thinking of going there to get it. To Lithuania? Well, yeah, I have to sign the papers and everything. I don't think you should go. And why not? Do you even have enough money to go there? I've got enough, don't worry. You're pretty determined to go, aren't you? Yeah. Well, you're a grown woman, do as you see fit. I have to run to a meeting. Good luck on your trip. Thanks, Mom. Bye. Bye. So, how did the mom talk go? Let's not talk about it. Okay, as you wish. All right, you're a stin. You gonna crash at his place? Yes. Awesome. What? Mm, nothing. Everything's packed. Wow, you actually managed to fit everything. <laughs> yeah, I had to make some soul-crushing decisions. You're set? Oh yeah. Jill time? Definitely. We need to celebrate my career boost properly. You deserve it, Dana. You worked so hard for it. Thanks. I couldn't do it without you, Milda. I expect you to keep in touch once you're in Lithuania. I want to know everything. I will live stream my every step there. Deal. Deal. And now it's time for songs and celebration. Here it is. Huh, the house looks smaller than I remember. Grandpa's library ID and a blank piece of paper. Well, it's not the mail I usually receive. It's locked. It's unlocked now. That's it. The electricity should be on now. Strange. That door is unlocked. What the hell was that? It sounded like someone broke a window. Those are some big feet.
wider. Same place as usual. There are some batteries and a bottle of kerosene over here. It used to be a window. This wasn't broken a minute ago. Gotta be careful not to cut myself. Hello? Are you there? Hello? Who is this? What? Who is this? My name is Milda Kovas. Miss Milda? <laughs> So nice to hear your voice. Sorry for the mess, but I needed to find something that belongs to me. And who are you, exactly? The less you know, the safer you are, curious girl. I'll send over my associate. It would be good for your health not to upset him. So just hand over the documents to him, and we'll be done. Sure. Do you want fries with that? Listen, either you drop this act, or your day suddenly becomes much, much worse, Miss Milda. Hand over what I'm asking for, and we will be done with it. And remember, I don't take no for an answer. Yeah, okay. Let me find him, and I'll give you a call in a minute. I'm not giving anything to that bum. But whatever he was searching for, must be important. I need to find it fast. This metal detector doesn't seem to work. Huh, there's a blank page under the bed. Old, broken shears and a nut. Nothing really interesting otherwise. An old sweatshirt. <laughs> Unless there's an ugliest sweatshirt competition in town, I won't be wearing this. A piece of string. Well, that might come in handy. A bottle of invisible ink. I remember Grandpa used to hide candies, and I had to find them using his secret messages. Huh. <laughs> yeah, I think that's actually how I learned to read. It's full of oil now. A message from my grandpa. It seems to work now. A 
Okay, something's there. I marked the spot. I hope Grandpa hit a big treasure chest there. A bolt? Well, that's not exactly what I imagined. There's definitely something metal there. Let's go fishing. It's a nut. Great. Ah, this one's just fine. Yes, that seems perfect. All right, let's chop them down. I just have to be careful not to get the toxic sap on me. Something's in the tree hollow. A stamped letter written in Cyrillic. The year says 1989. I'm not entirely sure, but I think this note is written in Polish. I bet yours would know. Huh? A hidden number? Hello? Miss Melda, our conversation ended without a proper solution, don't you think? Who are you? The one you owe some documents to. How the hell did you get my number? Oh, I know many things, Miss Milda. But really, it was just a matter of looking it up on your work website. Freelance photographer Milda Kovas. Now, do you have what I asked for? Whatever you want, you're not getting it. You tap it with my patience, Miss Milda. And suddenly, it ran out. I'll be right there. We'll deal with this in person. I think I found everything I needed here. I should leave before he shows up. Follow her, discreetly. Hey! Hey, up here! Milda, hey! Hey! Up here! Hey, Yoris! Milda, uh, hey, hey! Welcome to Lithuania! Hey, come on up! Where's the ladder? Uh, you can try the stairs. They're fairly popular. Where do I find those? Oh, yeah. 
Just call flight 17. I'll let you in. Alrighty. Thanks. Oh, you made it. How was your flight? I love flying. I, I don't get to travel too often, so I was super excited. Hey, oh, I'm sure you must be exhausted. Later, I'll get you a towel and prepare the bed. But first, let me pour you a glass of wine. Which one do you prefer, mademoiselle? Vin Rouge or Vin Blanc? Red wine, please. Red it is. Um, so how have you been? I haven't seen you since, uh, the World Music Festival. So much, I don't even know where to begin. Graduated, moved to my own apartment, posed for a hundred of Dana's paintings. Don't laugh, that takes time. Started freelancing as a photographer. Oh, well, you got your own studio? Uh, a less well-paid freelance photographer. Got it. I prefer it as a hobby, though. Not sure if it's really a long-term career path for me. How about you? What have you been up to? Uh, you know, lecturing here and there, still traveling a lot, learning languages, keep busy. So what brought you here? Right! Dude, you won't believe what happened today. What happened? I found a bunch of strange messages. What messages? From my grandpa's place, just after the burglars broke into his house. Someone broke into his house? Is he okay? No, he's dead. Wait. What? No, I mean, he passed away before all this. I, I came here to sell his house. Dios mio, you really know how to deliver bad news. In the house, Grandpa left me a bunch of weird documents, but I've no idea what they mean. I think that's what the burglars were after. Huh. Well, let me take a look. Maybe I can help. This one was inside a wooden box hidden by Grandpa. Tak, bardzo interesująca. Huh? It's in Polish, but, um, the text is a bit archaic. Uh, from the style, I'd say it could be a few hundred years old. Uh, I'm not sure about some of the words. Uh, let me make a rough translation. Here, take a look at this. Maybe we can figure it out together. Any idea what this is? It's written in Russian. Top secret, Project Kosche. Where did you find this? In a tree hollow in the garden. Grandpa hid it there. It's a letter from the KGB. The year is 1989, just before the collapse of the Soviet Union. What's KGB? Committee of National Security. It was the Soviet Union Security Agency. They spied, gathered intelligence, suppressed anti-Soviet activities, and many other things. Collapse of the Soviet Union? Yeah. Okay, so around 1990, the communist government of the USSR was losing its influence. Many annex countries saw this as an opportunity to push for independence. That in turn led to a kind of waterfall effect, which eventually dissolved the USSR. Don't keep me waiting. What, what does the letter say? Uh, one moment. Hmm. Uh. Interesting. Okay, it mentions here that your grandfather was somehow involved in a KGB project called Kosche. What do you mean involved? Well, okay, it says here that Linus Kovas... Wait, Linus Kovas? Yeah. That's my dad's name. Oh. Continue, please. Right, okay. Uh, it, it says here, Linus Kovas must come to the KGB headquarters immediately for questioning regarding the crown of Vitotis. Are you saying my dad worked for the KGB? I... no idea. Well, perhaps you could ask your father about it? Whoa, dude, I, I haven't seen him since I was little. I wouldn't even know where to find him. Um, would your mother know? Oh, no, I'm not calling her. Uh, why not? She hates talking about dad. However, perhaps she knows how to contact him. Hello? Hi, Mom. Won't bother you long, just wanted to ask a question. Okay. 
you know anything about Dad's involvement with the KGB? Oh, God, Milda. What? I knew you'd get involved. What are you talking about? What am I involved in? I know very well how this goes. It was the same with your father. Next time you call, you'll be blabbering about some non-existent treasures. Then you'll tell me you're investigating some pagan temples. Then that you're in trouble, and then... Oh. Then what? Milda, listen. Just leave things as they are and come back home. Mom, I, I just need to know what's happening. Can't you just listen to me? I just want what's best for you. Mom, why do you do this? Do what? Avoid answering questions. All right. If you so desire, go pursue your quest for truth without involving me in it. Is that clear? <sighs> All right. Yeah. Take care, Mom. Never mind. A welcoming bottle of red wine. There is a bottle of olive oil. Nearly empty, though. Eggs, cucumber, beetroot, dill, kefir, and potatoes. I wonder what he's planning to make. These scattered pages had a message written with invisible ink. The words were burned in, but you need to look at the light to see the message across all of the pages. There must be an easier way to read the message. Maybe try to make the page see-through. Just enough oil to cover all the pages. There, now they're see-through. I added some oil to the papers. Now the message can be clearly seen. Hmm. What is it? A crown with no king. There was only one king of Lithuania, and that was King Mindogus. Did he have a crown problem? No, but this poem sounds very much like the story about Vitotis the Great. Who's that? I mean, he's the most famous historical figure in Lithuania. A legendary leader, a politician, and schemer. One of the greatest warlords of the 15th century. He was supposed to become a king in 1430, but died before the crown could reach him. Okay, okay, I can see you're a fan of his. Ah, uh, kinda. Yeah. Is there anything else you found at your grandfather's place? It's where one of the messages was kept. <laughs> I see you found the correct combination already. Once I feel confident with my choices, I should show it to yours. What do you think? This seems accurate. As the order instructed, the three keys to the crown are safely hidden thanks to the Grand Architect. The Great Fire provided him with the opportunity to choose different gods as demonstrated in this manuscript. Yeah, yeah, that, that sounds plausible. Any idea what it means? At first glance. Not really. Did your grandfather leave any other clues? That's all I've got from Grandpa's place. <laughs> That's quite a find. Assuming these texts are all real, all of them mention the crown. Uh-huh. Is it possible that your grandpa and dad were searching for the crown of Vitotis? Well, according to the letter, the KGB was after it too. Why was everyone after it? Your family had leads to the crown of Vitotis during the Soviet period. That in of itself would have been a dangerous knowledge. Why? Uh, it could have caused a cultural rebellion by giving the occupied nation a reminder of where they came from. I would have been surprised if in the hands of the Soviet government, a discovery like that would have just disappeared. 
Yeah, I, I get it, but the Soviet Union dissolved anyway, so why not make the documents public after that? True. Might have been for fame, glory, and money then. But perhaps we should give these papers to the proper authorities. Uh, I prefer hanging on to these for a little while. Grandpa left them to me for a reason. And you, um, you mentioned... Mentioned what? Fame? Well, yeah, it's an old valuable treasure linked to a legend of the past. Undoubtedly beneficial to the one who finds it. Yeah, uh -huh. mm -hmm. What are you thinking? I should find someone who could help me interpret some of these documents, especially the Polish translation. The keys mentioned there could lead me to the crown. Do you know any history buffs? Not really. What do you suggest we do? I don't know. Post in some history forum or something? I could do that. Uno momento. Uh, just let me get my phone. Uh, okay, so how should I phrase the post? Interested in the crown of Vitotas. Those familiar with the subject, PM me. Uh-huh. And done. We'll just have to wait for a reply now. Something else on your mind? I should find my father. He must know more about this. Did your mother mention anything? Couldn't get much out of her, but she did blurt out something about investigating pagan temples. Besides this and Project Kosche, we don't really have much to go with. Then that's something I should keep an eye out for. Have you heard anything about Project Kosche? I remember there was an old cartoon about a ruler called Kosche the Deathless. He hid his death in a needle in an egg or something and couldn't be killed without it. That's all for now. Well, it's the middle of the night, and it was an eventful day for you. How about we get a good night's sleep and continue tomorrow? You're right. Enough for the day. I can't wait to hug that sofa. Okay, uh, yeah, well, uh, right. <laughs> sofa, you can you can have the sofa. Sofa's yours tonight. Labanakt, Milda. Labanakt, yours. Stop. Buongiorno, Milda. Mornings. I hate mornings. You should probably get ready. An actual history professor replied to us. I set up a meeting with him at the library. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm up. I'm gonna go get myself a bagel. You, you want one? The ones with cheese or chicken are great. Mm -hmm. Chicken, cheese, they're really good. Yeah, give me the chicken one. Okie dokie. Well, come downstairs when you're ready. Uh-huh.
I should probably get dressed first. Here's your bagel. Thanks. That shop is run by the Lithuanian Jewish Community Center. So these bagels are legit. Noted. Ready to go meet the professor? Just give me a moment. Next Tuesday, a lecture about Jewish heritage in Lithuania. All are welcome. For more information, inquire inside the bagel shop. Hi. Hello, dear. A fresh bagel, perhaps? What kind of bagels do you have? Right now, we have fresh bagels with cheese, tuna, or chicken. Would you like one? Tuna bagel, please. All right. Here you go. Anything else? That's all. Goodbye. Have a lovely day, dear. Hey, I found this flyer. Yes, Tamara's organizing a public lecture about Jewish heritage next Tuesday. Is there something in particular you want to know? What will the lecture be about, exactly? The main theme will be focusing on the surviving cultural monuments and relics, and their preservation. Interesting. Anything else? Who's Tamara? Oh, she's a very active member of the Lithuanian Jewish community. She usually works on the promotion and preservation of Litvak culture. Litvak? That's what Lithuanian Jews are called. Oh, I see. Anything else? Um, I guess not. Thank you. Ready when you are. Yeah, let's go. On me va! So, what is this place? That is my alma mater, Vilnius University. Around half a millennium old. The library's inside there. Once you're done, meet me back at my place. Or, you know, you could, you could just give me a call. It's fine. All right. See you soon. Alma mater. If I remember correctly, it means a nourishing mother. Hello. Yes? How may I help you? My name is Milda. I'm supposed to meet a history professor over here. Ah, uh, yes. That'll be me. Your friend Joris mentioned you found some text that might have originated in the Grand Duchy. Oh, yeah. I, uh... Hey, this is a library, not a hen house. Keep the talks to a minimum. Oh, excuse us, madam. We'll be quieter. Mm-hmm. You were saying? I think the text I found is a lead to the crown of Vitotas the Great. <laughs> That's impossible. Shh, 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 shh. Oh. Well, an entertaining assumption, but I'd be highly skeptical of such a document. The history of the Grand Duchy of Lithuania is my specialty and passion, and I'll do my best to help. Of course, first, I'll need to see the text. Shall we? Any idea what this text could refer to? Hmm, let's see. Yes, that's quite interesting. What is? If the translation is accurate, with my best guess, I would date it to around mid 
to mid-late 18th century. How can you tell? Well, let's take a closer look. What are the keys and the crown mentioned here? That's rather confusing, to be honest. Looking at the whole note, all the evidence suggests it was written by a member of the Jesuit order. What does the Jesuit order have to do with this? The order was disbanded not too long after this was written. Perhaps these are metaphorical keys, leaving the crown, or in other words, the king, in the hands of other denominations or religions. Do you know who the Grand Architect could be? Well, from the contents of the note, I can say with fair certainty that it is Johann Christoph Clauwitz. He was one of the most prominent architects in the Grand Duchy and the founder of the Vilnian Baroque style. What is the Great Fire? I believe the writer is talking about the Great Fire of Vilnius that happened in 1749. So the note must have been written soon after this date. What are the different gods mentioned in the translation? Many religious houses were damaged after the fire in the mid-18th century. That gave an opportunity for the architect to rebuild those houses of worship, regardless of their religion. Thus, perhaps, the mention of different gods. This manuscript doesn't really demonstrate much. Oh, this is not a part of the manuscript itself. This note is obviously a message that was attached to a larger document. What's in the larger document? Can't say for sure, but the note suggests it might be a catalog of different houses of worship. All right, I think that's it. Thank you. Always a pleasure to help out those who seek knowledge. As you can see, Anything can be found in the annals of history. Uh, you mean annals of history? What did I say? Um, <laughs> never mind. Well, I'll be here for a couple more minutes, so feel free to ask if you need more historical insights. Great, will do. Well, that was quick and painless. I bet Yoris would like to hear about my findings. Hey, how's it going? Quite well. There's plenty to discuss. Great. Come over to my place. All right. I'll see you there. Hey. Can you tell me about Vitutas the Great? But of course. The most prominent ruler of the Grand Duchy. Why is he so popular? There are many reasons for his popularity. He was a great leader. He expanded the borders, advanced culture, and left his mark in the field of international affairs. On top of that, the stories of his cunning and intrigues are plentiful. People still tell tales about his escape from the prison dressed as a maid, or how his horse once created a full lake by urinating. <laughs> of course, not every story is true. Why is Vitotas called the Great? Is that his surname? Well, no. It was unusual for Lithuanians to have surnames in the 14th century. But at the time, Vitotas and his cousin Jogaila, who became the King of Poland, pushed the idea of Christianity into Lithuania. With that, a tradition of family names became stronger, and surnames became commonplace a century later. So what about the Great part? He received the title soon after his death in the 15th century. His contemporaries were so impressed by his achievements that since then, to this day, he is considered to be the most successful leader the country has ever had. What happened to Vitotas' crown? Most likely, it was returned back to the issuer, the Holy Roman Emperor Sigismund of Luxembourg, after the envoys delivering the crown were refused passage at the Polish border. Other sources mention that it was taken by the Polish and incorporated into the bishop's headwear. One can't be sure about the true nature of what happened. I wanted to ask about something else. Yes? Where do you think I could learn more about this old message? If the manuscript still exists, well, that would be your best source. Alternatively, you could try tracking the person who found the note. Never mind.
Hey! Luguano, uh, how did it go at the library? Great. The professor was a big help. Good to hear. Uh, so what did you find out? Quite a few things, actually. Did you figure out what that translation meant? Yeah. To sum it up, it's a 200-year-old note from a Jesuit order which was disbanded soon after. The architect it mentions is Johann Christoph Glaubitz. Apparently, he hid three keys in different houses of worship that he reconstructed. Did you find out which houses of worship the keys are hidden in? No, but I guess that should be my focus now. Let me know if you need any help. Will do. How can I check which books were taken from the library? You can use the computer over there. Just log in with your ID. I have my grandfather's ID, but I don't know the password. You know it's not allowed to use someone else's ID. But it's my grandfather's. Whoever's it is, it's not yours, so no. But can you check it? <sighs> of course I can, but only for the owner of the ID. Huh. I need to find a way to get access to Grandpa's book history. Uh, excuse me? Shh, no loud to- Oh, what is it? You're the librarian, right? Oh, I'm sorry. Wasn't it obvious enough? Should I have worn my librarian hat? Ouch. What do you want? Is something bothering you? No. Can I get a book? Would you like to be more specific? I'm looking for a book about pagan temples. Pagan temples? You mean the local Baltic ones? Uh-huh. <sighs> Give me a moment. I'll be right back. There you go. Uh, thanks. I should take some notes if I find anything interesting. I'll just note the locations for the pagan temples. It might be useful. I'll just note the locations for the pagan temples. It might be useful. Hi! Hmm? Yeah? Can I get a book? Would you like to be more specific? I was looking for some information about the KGB. Anything specific? Uh, KGB projects, people involved, Project Kostche? Yeah, I get it. Basically everything about anything. Well, not every. I'll try to find something that could answer most of your questions. Please return the other book first. Yeah, of course. Here you go. Hmm. <sighs> Wait here. I'll find something for you. There you go. Uh, thanks.
I should take some notes if I find anything interesting. GRRCL series. I should ask the librarian about it. It seems Project Kostche was looking for artifacts with powers of telepathy or extrasensory perception. Hi. Hmm? Yeah? Do you have any more books from the GRRCL series? Genocide and Resistance Research Center of Lithuania? Sure. Which one do you want? Um, the one that talks about Project Kostje? We have over a hundred books from them. I'll need a title. Well, I, I don't know the title, and, and I definitely can't read them all. If you know what you're looking for, you can always try calling them. Maybe they'll help. Oh, okay. Do you have their number? <sighs> sure. Let me find it for you. Thanks. There, you can write it down. Hi! Hmm? Yeah? Can I get a book? Would you like to be more specific? Do you have anything on J.C. Glaubitz? Oh, the architect? Uh-huh. Yes, let me get it for you. Please return the other book first. Yeah, of course. Here you go. Give me a moment. I'll be right back. There you go. Uh, thanks. Time to get to work. Wow, that dude rebuilt a ton of churches. I thought there'd be like five. How the hell am I supposed to figure out which ones have the key? Librarian staff ID. It says Eva Bardeta, senior librarian, access level three. Hi. Hmm? Yeah? Can I get a book? Would you like to be more specific? Do you have the, um, <clears throat> Necronimicon? The what now? Necronimicon. You mean the Necronomicon? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Necronimicon. Then no, we don't have it. Okay, what about the Necronomicon? Ugh, let me check. Seems there is one, second edition. However, it's the furthest, deepest, darkest part of the library. It will take a while for me to get it. Are you really sure you need it? Yep, very sure. Ugh, you'll have to wait for a bit though. Oh, no problem. <sighs> Not to you. Please return the other book first. Yeah, of course. Here you go. <sighs> I'll be back. I can see the computer screen.
There you go. Uh, thanks. There. I got it. Oh, she didn't type in her username, though. Need to find that out somehow. Von Gluim and Blanoff. Cthulhu Rillie. Wagnagel. Furtang. Huh. Looks like grandfather's library account name. He looks so much older than I remember. This must be her account name. Now I can log into the system. Okay, let's see. I need to enter an account name. Now the password. All right, I'm in. Now, let's see if Grandpa had any interesting books taken. Oh, there's one that's not returned yet. Don Quixote? That's odd. It's just an old novel. Amber Road. The spread of Baltic amber across the ancient world. Hmm. I think I should keep looking. Hey. That's the book Grandpa took from the library. Is this the architect's manuscript? Grandpa must have smuggled it from the library. Johann Christoph Glaubitz. That's the architect who hid the keys to the crown. It's obviously a church ornament. The key was probably hidden in this chest. That's the same painting from the previous page. It seems like the box was hidden behind it. Well, this must be Jewish, right? Ooh, what's this? The first Grand Chancellor. The date shown is around the time of Vitotus' death. Those must have been dangerous years if the Chancellor had to pose in armor. I think those kind of hats were popular in the 1960s. He must have been a trendsetter. It's an amazing picture. You can feel him judging you from the depths of history. Wonder how old he was when he got his nickname. This dude looks like me, when Dana asks me to stand still for too long. He must have gotten a ton of compliments on his magnificent beard. The hat. I mean, you gotta give props for the hat. I imagine that's what a casual court wizard would look like. Is this the fifth guy with the same name? Oh, watch out! He's got a stick! Hmm, those chancellors do be angry a lot. Oh, he'd look great on the cover of Musketeers Daily. Oh, you can tell this man loved his hair. First dude without facial hair. I wonder when the razor blade was invented. Another chancellor I know nothing about. This looks like the after picture of the previous guy. I have a suspicion that this is the same chancellor as the previous two, just in different garb. Seriously, either it's the same guy or they all went to the same barber. 
Uh, that's clearly a wig, right? I guess curls were on the rise at the time. The last of the bunch. If I knew more about history, I could tell what happened next. But I don't. Not sure what to make of it. It seems to be some kind of riddle. A bishop with a fancy stick. A cryptic poem. Some monks praying to the cross. Oh, hey, it's the same guy from the Magnet. This must be St. Catherine's Church. It seems to be a magnet from the Church of St. Catherine. These must be the houses of worship. I wonder if the KGB thought that the crown of Vitotas was somehow special. About this flyer. Yes, tomorrow's organizing a public lecture about Jewish heritage next Tuesday. Is there something in particular you want to know? Who's Tamara? Oh, she's a very active member of the Lithuanian Jewish community. She usually works on the promotion and preservation of Litvak culture. Litvak? That's what Lithuanian Jews are called. Oh, I see. Anything else? Um, I guess not. 
Thank you. Hey. Hey, what's up? Yoris, I think I know which houses of worship should contain the keys. Which ones? The Orthodox Church of the Holy Spirit. Hmm, I don't know that one. But then again, this city has like a hundred churches. What about the other churches? The Jewish Great Synagogue of Vilnius. Wasn't it destroyed or something? Really? Damn. Well, we are working with 200-year-old documents. Maybe the key got relocated or... I don't know. That doesn't really help our cause, does it? No. I remember reading about a lecture on Jewish heritage. Maybe I should follow that lead. I mean, it can't hurt. And the third church? St. Catherine's Church. Oh, nice. I've been there a few times. It's actually not very far. So, what's the plan? I'll start by visiting the places and asking around. Okay, let me find the church locations and I'll send them over to you. And sent. Let me know if you need me for anything, okay? Thanks, Yoris. Will do. Genocide and Resistance Research Center. How may I help you? Hi, I was hoping you could help me answer some questions regarding the KGB? Well, I can certainly try. What would you like to know? Can you tell me about the KGB? Just the general info? Of course. The KGB was a repressive security and intelligence agency of the Soviet Union. They were responsible for war crimes, crimes against humanity, persecution of local population due to worldviews, resistance against occupation, and simply for belonging to particular ethnic, religious, social, or political groups. I can feel this description is kind of personal. It is both. Factual and personal. Is there anything else I might help you with? I'm looking for information about Project Kosche. Project Kosche? Yes. A search for psychotronic artifacts. Quite an interesting subject. Unfortunately, most of what we know about it is from a list of the titles of documents that were moved to Moscow in 1989. Is there something in particular about this project that interests you? I, I found an old letter from the KGB mentioning a name involved in this project. I see. What name should I be looking for? Linus Kovas. Uh, did you say Linus Kovas? Yeah. Why? Nothing. Just making sure. Well, one thing I can do is issue a query about him if you wish. We would let you know if something comes up. Sure. Is there anything else I might help you with? I'm looking for information about the crown of Vitutas the Great. I'm sorry, but our organization is focused on more recent history, specifically the time of the Soviet occupation from 1940 to 1990. Is there anything else I might help you with? I think that's it. Thank you for the information. Have a nice day, miss. That guy sounded like he knew more than he told me. Well, I hope that query returns something more useful for me. Yes, Tamara's organizing a public lecture about Jewish heritage next Tuesday. Is there something in particular you want to know? Will there be anything about the Great Synagogue of Vilnius? I don't know, dear, but Tamara did participate in some archaeological excavations there not that long ago. Is there a chance I could meet her earlier? I just want to ask a few quick questions. Well, she was planning to come over for lunch today. If it's only a few questions, I'm sure she'd find a few minutes to answer. What's your name, dearie? Me? Oh, um, Melda. Oh, that's a pretty name. Let me just text Tamara right now so she'll be expecting you. Great. Thank you.
miss Tamara? Please, just Tamara is fine. You must be Milda. Uh-huh. I was told you had questions about the Great Synagogue. Can you tell me a bit about the synagogue? Well, it was built almost 400 years ago. A marvelous building that could house over 5,000 people at once. Unfortunately, it was burned and heavily damaged by the Nazis during World War II. Later, during the Soviet occupation, the synagogue was completely demolished. Have you heard about Johann Christoph Glaubitz? Yes, the architect. He redesigned the interior of the synagogue in the 18th century. Are there any artifacts left from the Great Synagogue? Unfortunately, most things were looted during World War II. However, in the recent excavations, we found a cellar that wasn't shown on any plan. Ooh, what did you find there? I brought a picture from the dig site if you wish to see. Yes, definitely. What is that? This is an ornament from the stairs that lead to the bima, likely from the early to mid 18th century. Bima? It's a kind of altar in a synagogue where the rabbi reads Torah during the service. That's a door handle, right? Yes, still well preserved and with a lock, dated around the middle of the 18th century. What are these coins? These are 18th century silver coins from the reign of the Russian Empress Catherine the Great. Hmm, another great one. What can you tell me about this key? That was the key to the synagogue's cellar. Hmm. Are you sure? Yes, quite sure, considering we found the lock and handle of the door as well. Jewelry? The Star of David, likely from the end of the 19th century. What's that? It's a candlestick. Can you tell me more about it? Well, not that much, to be honest. It was found during the excavations, but there are doubts if it was even part of the synagogue's inventory. Broken pots and bottles? Yes, these are rather difficult to date and of little value. They might not even be part of the synagogue's inventory, but still, they were found at the dig site. Is that a knife? Indeed. Surprisingly, it was still sharp when we found it. What's this stone tablet? Ah, that's one of the more intriguing finds. It was a part of a stone Torah reading table from the end of the 18th century. Are those bricks? Oh yes, these are the original bricks from the synagogue's bima. Fascinating, isn't it? Uh-huh, fascinating. Thank you, that's all for now. Anytime. Fancy bottle of wine. Hi. Oh, a tourist. Hi, my friend. Yeah, hi. Where do you come from? The U.S. Oh, I love the U.S. You're very good people. Very good people. The best. Uh, thanks. Uh, do you have one euro? What? Uh, why? Well, I'll tell you a sad story. I live outside of town, and I need a bus ticket to go home. It costs five euros, but I only have four. So, can you help me out? I don't have any cash on me. It's okay, you can make an online transfer. Whoa, hold on there. I just wanted to ask you some questions. Questions? Uh, like what? Do you know how to get into that church? Uh, through the door? Oh, very observant, thanks. Take care. Excuse me. Renovation. Closed territory. I want to visit the church. No, I clean here. And you're doing a great job. I'll just take a quick peek inside. No. But go. I clean you too. You what? 
Hey, hey, stop it. I'm going. Ah. Swept out like some trash by a hag with a broom. Adventurous. Orthodox Church of the Holy Spirit. Built in place of a wooden church in the mid-18th century, it was designed by Johann Christoph Glaubitz, who is famous for developing a Lithuanian school of Baroque architecture known as Vilnian Baroque. Um, excuse me? Be blessed, child. I am looking for a key. A key? Is it your key? Well, it's not exactly my key. So, the key belongs to the church? I suppose. And you have the gall to ask me for the church key? Um... Do you know what the Eighth Commandment says? Don't steal? Thou shalt not steal. Uh, what's going on? Someone thought it would be funny to steal the sacramental wine right before the Divine Liturgy. And it seems they are not stopping at that. Who would do such a thing? Who indeed? Who would dare to take the wine? And who would be bold enough to ask for a key? Perhaps hoping to take something else? I'm getting a feeling you think I stole the wine. Oh, no, no. Unless you did. In that case, the church is a perfect place for a confession. That's ridiculous. I, I just wanted to ask about some old key I read about, that's all. Oh, I am very sorry, my child. My mind was elsewhere. This whole stolen wine debacle is stressing me out. Please, no more questions. I have to deal with this before the liturgy starts. Well, that's a random complication. Wine with holy water makes holy wine, right? What is this? The sacred wine that was stolen from you. No, it is not. It's wine mixed with holy water. It has all the right ingredients. You must be joking. It must come from an approved winery, not some charlatan's imagination. Are you the one I'm supposed to meet here? Uh, who knows? Perhaps. I mean, did you text me about meeting here? Uh... Okay, I'll assume it's a no. Over here. The statue. Hello? Milda, right? Wait, a talking statue? No, behind the statue. Oh. <laughs> That's... Awkward? I'm not really that dumb. I really hope not. I knew your father. How did you know him? I don't have much time. 
Someone might be listening. I uh, have knowledge of the last person to contact your father before his disappearance. Disappearance? Here, take this. His name is Vlad. He may provide you with more information. It's a phone number. How did you... Hey, where did he go? A fancy bottle of wine, huh? Could this be the stolen wine from the Church of the Holy Spirit? I should ask him about it. Hi. By any chance, do you know about the wine stolen from the Church of the Holy Spirit? What, what wine? I got no wine. Right, the, uh, the one I can see in your bag? Oh, that one. Why did you steal it? You see, I'm not allowed to go back into church. <gasps> no, surely you just... I'm telling you, I took the wine so I could wash my sins away. What? What? That's not how it works. I found this method to be the most effective. A good blend of wine with holy water. I'm so confused. Well, isn't that how the church makes it? Mixing red wine with holy water? I mean... Sure, why not? Could I trade something for that wine? I'm open to other strong and holy suggestions. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Take care. Well, this makes the wine stronger. Ooh, and gives it a nice lemony smell. Will you take this in exchange for that wine bottle you have? Uh, what's this? Holy wine. Extra holy, extra strong. Extra strong? Indeed, with undertones of lemon. Yes, yes, a very nice strong smell. Yes, a deal. Uh, just take that other wine. Finally. Thank you. Is this the wine that was stolen from you? Ah, yes. You saved me from a big embarrassment. Thank you, child. May God guide your path. Can I ask some questions now? Of course. Whatever you wish. I am looking for a key. Ah, yes. What did you want to know? I believe an architect called Johann Glaubitz might have given a key to this church. Hmm. I am sorry. I'm afraid I don't know anything about the key, my daughter. What? But I found your wine. How is that related? Well, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I, I did the thing and it gave me nothing. A selfless act, my daughter. You should be proud. <sighs> I guess I'll have to find some more clues somehow. Take care. May God guide your path. Huh. I can see plenty of lipstick marks on it. I've seen this in the book. I should ask the priest about it. Hello. Yes, my daughter? Did anyone try to look behind that painting with the cross? How specific. I'm surprised you'd know such a thing. During the last renovation, a compartment was indeed found behind the central painting. Was there a key in it? No, only a seal stamp. A seal stamp? Yes, the one with an emblem that's used to make an imprint in wax for letters or documents. Whose seal was it? 
I don't remember exactly, but it belonged to some important political figure. I, I think a chancellor. Where is the seal now? The last I heard, it was moved to the Vilnius University archives for safekeeping. What did the seal look like? It was a palm-sized metal disc with a handle. If I recall correctly, it had a big W on it. Thank you for the information. Hey, Milda. Just checking on you. Any updates? I just found out a bit more about the KGB lead. Intriguing. I learned that Project Kostche was a KGB project dedicated to finding artifacts with special powers. Special powers? Like... magic? I think they mentioned extrasensory perception, psychotronics, and telepathy. You're saying that the KGB thought that the Crown of Itotis could have magical powers? Hey, I'm just saying what I found out. Hmm. I've got a wild theory. I'm listening. Okay, so, the old Polish note was written by a member of a Jesuit order just before it was disbanded, right? Yeah. Imagine this. The Jesuits hid the secret location of the crown, which they thought was somehow magical. You're talking about magic again. Okay, well, Project Kostche had to base their findings on something, right? So let's just assume that for a moment. Now, Jesuits hid the keys to the crown in different houses of worship. Why would they do that? They were disbanded, so they could no longer keep the secret themselves? Perhaps because they knew that even if members of different faiths learned of it, none of them would agree to give the power to the others. Kind of a safety measure. If the crown's so powerful, why wouldn't they just use it themselves? Well, that's kind of my point. It must be somehow unwieldy, otherwise there wouldn't be any reason not to use it. Yeah. Or maybe they couldn't make it work, because magic ain't real. I mean, I'm just throwing out ideas here. People can come up with anything as long as they believe the crown has powers. Okay. Well, I'll let you know if anything comes up. All right. Talk to you later. gone. Probably out looking for Tuna again. Tuna? Yeah, she's a huge fan. Hence the name. Oh, poor Tuna. I get it. Where can I find the university archives? You can access them from the main square. Well, I mean, you can't, because it's for authorized personnel only, but yeah, the door's there. Never mind. Reminder to all my colleagues. One, stop complaining. The new security system guarantees the safety of historical artifacts. Two, stop panicking. If the gate does not open, make sure all the items are returned to the appropriate containers. Three, stop calling me.
found it. I think the printing is done. Wow, that's a great copy. I probably couldn't tell the difference. Looks very similar to. Um, Tamara, can you tell me where I can find this item? Oh, not that long ago it was sold to a candlestick collector. What? Why? What do you mean? Why did you sell it? Why does it interest you so much? I don't think it's a candlestick. It's likely an old seal. Really? Hmm. I guess it's not impossible. It was not an expected find, so I'm not surprised. It could have been mislabeled. Well, I can give you the man's number if you wish to contact him. Yes, please. about a candlestick? A what? The, the candlestick that was found during the excavation of the Great Synagogue of Vilnius. Oh, you've uh, got the wrong number. Uh, hello? Weird. Hello? Uh, hi, am I speaking to Vlad? Yes. Who am I speaking to? My name is Milda Kovas. I'm calling regarding my father, Linus. Ah, yes. I was expecting this call. You were? Come to Minsk. We can talk then. Minsk? Uh, sure. I'll try to somehow get to Minsk. Let me know when you're coming. I'll give you the details. All right. I'll give you a call then. Dobra. Minsk. Okay, I need to figure out how to get there. bit busy at the moment, if you don't mind. 
What are you busy with? Reading. Okay. Hi. Welcome to the Quickest Journey Travel Agency. I want to go to Minsk. Minsk, Belarus, amazing choice. Visit Victory Square and the National Arts Museum and ride the Ferris wheel at Gorky Park. We will get you there in no time. How long is no time? The trip itself takes three to four hours. You'll just have to fill in a few forms for a visa. Sure. And it will be approved within three to five work days. Uh, that's a bit too long. Well, you are leaving the European Union, so, you know, it takes time. Do you want the application papers? Uh, I guess. Great! Here they are. You can fill them in at the table over there. Mm-hmm. Thanks. All right, I think I'm done with the form. It says here that a ticket to the hockey game could serve as a Belarus visa. I need to show this to the travel agent. I filled in the documents. We'll get back to you as soon as they're processed. I saw this leaflet about a hockey game. Yes! Lithuania is playing against Belarus today. It says the ticket could serve as a visa. Is that true? Absolutely. It's a special exception for international sports events. Well, can I buy a ticket then? Oh, mm, well, yes, but the bus is for the hockey fan club members only. I am a fan. Great! Do you have your fan club membership card? I left it in my uh, other pants. I see. Well, it's really not me. It's the driver you'll have to convince to let you in. Do you know a lot about hockey? I know a bit. Do you know any players of the national team? Yeah, you know, the captain, the tough guy, speedy, the goalie. Um, okay. Do you know any rules specific to hockey? Like face-offs? Yes, exactly. Well, I can sell you the ticket, but I can't promise you'll be allowed on the bus. I guess you can always try saying you're going there just for the fights. That might help. I'll figure it out. One ticket, please. All right, here it is. The bus should be here any minute. All right, thanks. Is this bus going to Belarus? Correct. Great. Do you have a ticket? Yes. I can't just take your word for it. Right. Here's my ticket. Are you with the fan club? Yes, I am. No, you're not. This is a bus for fans. It's not for tourists. But how do you know I'm not a fan? You don't look like one. At least put a proper shirt on or something. Otherwise, everyone can get stuck at a border check because you look like a tourist.
But I'm just here to see the players fight. Everyone's here to see the players fight. Wait, can I try again? Oh, I wish you wouldn't. I'm a photographer. I bet everyone would love to have some pictures from the event. Sure, but there's no use for pictures if we get delayed and miss the event. Look, I understand you're really eager. But I'm the driver of this bus, and I take my job seriously. Unless you look like a member of the fan club, you're putting the whole bus at risk of delay. Simple as that. Um, can you wait a bit? I'll try to figure something out. There are still a few real fans that are late, but hurry. I won't be waiting forever. <sighs> I'll be quick. I guess it might be of use after all. No longer a flag, but a proper coat of arms. All right, this should make me look like a fan. Now to put it on and rush to the bus. Do I still have time? Some of the real fans are running late, so you still have some time, but do hurry up. Bye. Mm-hmm. Hi. Mm-hmm. What do I need to get on that bus? You need to at least look like a fan. How do I look? You look like a poor kid who asked her mom for a fancy brand shirt. But... But had no money, so she tried to make it herself. And then, when the kid went to school in mother's homemade shirts, the kid was laughed at, bullied, and called poor. All because of the twisted social dynamics that mess with our perspective on what's important in life. Um... Can I...? Yeah. Up on, kid. You deserve it. I should call Vlad and let him know I'm coming. Hello? I'm coming over. Today. Who is this? Uh, Melda Kofas? Oh, yes, of course. I managed to get a last-minute trip to Belarus. I will be arriving wherever the hockey game is happening. Oh, perfect. We'll see the game then. Meet me in the VIP lounge once you're there. VIP lounge, got it. Have a safe trip. Aw, that's a cute little mammoth. It's from my trip to Siberia. They have some weird toy factories. Huh? Attackers fail! Goalie win! Oh, hey. Hi. Wow. I had such an intense dream just now. Want to hear about it? Sure. It felt like a premonition. Our team was facing off against Belarus. Uh-huh. Belarus was attacking. They sent their second line of attackers against our first pair of defenders. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Right? Their second liners have the worst matchup against our first pair. Obviously, Belarus lost the puck. Mm-hmm. After that, we started pressuring Belarus, but their defense was too difficult to overcome. The coach changed the lines, but that wasn't enough. We raised our flags to inspire them. Do the players even notice the flags? They very much do. Imagine seeing an opponent's flag instead of your own. It's demoralizing. For us fans, it's obvious, but we're not the ones to make the call for a change, so we use what's in our arsenal. You know what's more important for success than a good coach? Performance-enhancing drugs. 
The fifth line! The fifth line? The fans. Oh, of course. A chant in unison will boost anyone's confidence. No doubt about it. Oh, I see you found my super horn. Ah, I did. It's magical. It is? Yes. It's loud as a truck and can control the masses. Do you know how it works? You squeeze it and the sound comes out? Well, yes, but there's more to it than that. You have to play it at the right time. And when you construct a pattern of sounds, it unifies the fans for a chant. Try playing do, ti, ti, do, do. Those are upper and middle hogs. Go, go, go! This is how we roll! See, controlling the masses. That's usually enough for the team to score a goal. All right, got it. So how did your dream end? Who won? Hmm. You know what? I forgot. But there's still time before we get there. I should go back to sleep and find out the ending. Goal, goal, goal! Hey! Are you excited? I'm excited. It's very important that we score the first goal. Why? Seven out of ten teams that score the first goal win the whole game. That's a statistical fact. Ah, noted. What's the situation now? The game just started. It's 0-0, but we're looking strong. We'll talk later. Goal, goal, goal! This is how we roll! That's it? Let's do it one more time. Go, go, go! This is how we roll! Ah, almost. Hi, I'm looking for Vlad. Ah, you must be the young Miss Kovas. That's me. Welcome. The painting is over there. You can leave the money on the table. What money? Wait, you're not here for the painting? Your father mentioned he'd send a family member to fetch it. I was expecting it was you. Did you say you talked to my dad? H how do I contact him? Contact him? This sounds rather confusing. He calls me about a deal we made two decades ago. Avoids any specifics, and now there's you. Looking for him without even an idea why you're here. Quite a, how do you say it, conundrum. I just need to talk to him. I'm sure he'll explain everything. Hmm, perhaps. Or perhaps he doesn't want to be contacted. Why wouldn't he want to be contacted? That I do not know. But I assume he would have already called you if it was otherwise. Ah, Sralnya. What, what happened? Uh, they just scored against us. Um, help yourself to drinks or cigars. I have to make a call. Michal, if Goli doesn't catch another one, change him. I'll put it simply. Either he stops making mistakes, or you change him. That's all. Please don't touch the painting, Miss Kovas. The text under the painting suggests it's a portrait of Vitotas. I wonder why Dad needed it. Can you tell me more about the painting? I bought it a long time ago, in a flea market in Brest, in southwestern Belarus. At the time I was collecting various artifacts of the Grand Duchy. You can imagine my excitement when I found a portrait of our Grand Duke Vitotas. Your Grand Duke? Oh, well, yours as well. The Grand Duchy was vast, from the Baltic to the Black Sea. But I was too blinded by the excitement. I didn't notice it was an obvious fake. What do you mean it's fake? Exactly that. It's a hoax, even if an old one. That's why it was rather strange your father was interested in it. Hmm. There must be something more to it. What was that call all about? Eh, I bet quite a sum on this game, so I'd rather make sure Belarus wins. So, you're a betting man. <laughs> you could say that. How about we make a bet? Hmm. What do you propose? 
If Belarus wins, you give me the painting and my dad's number. Let's suppose I say yes. What could you possibly offer me if Belarus loses? Um... You get to keep the painting, and I'll owe you the money for it. To have a debtor who doesn't have any money would be a bad position for both of us. I'll work as your assistant for the next year without pay? <laughs> You're funny. I can afford an assistant if I need one. You should come up with something better. I'll give you a house. A house? I've inherited my grandpa's house after his death. You win the bet, it's all yours. Hmm, you're willing to give your grandfather's house just like that? You are either very desperate or overly confident. I mean, why not both at this point, right? So, what do you say? Very well. Belarus loses, I get the house. Belarus wins, you get the painting and the phone number. Deal. Great. Negotiations 101. Now, all I need is divine intervention to make this happen. Well, I used up all of the glue on this. This is very strange. We're waving our flags as hard as we can, but our team's playing like they're seeing the wrong flag. Hello? Hey, Milda. What are you up to? Uh, I'm in Belarus. Belarus? Why? I've got reliable... I found some sources that might lead me to my father. I see. Let's hope they will. Do be careful. Did you manage to find any keys before leaving? I did, back in the university archives. I found a chancellor's seal the architect hid in one of his reconstructed houses of worship. I think it might be one of the keys mentioned in the note. Intriguing. If you're right, there should be two more of these. That's what I'm hoping for. I, I gotta go, Yoris. A bit busy over here. Okay, let me know when you're coming back. I'll make dinner. I mean, if you want. We can, we can always get at food out. I'll... I'll make dinner. Okay, all right, I will. Golly will prepare! That's it? Let's do it one more time. Go, go, go! Wait, no, that's not the right... Hmm, this is very strange. We're waving our flags as hard as we can, but our team's playing like they're seeing the wrong flag. Hey! Yeah? What's the situation now? It's one goal each. Hmm, this is very strange. We're waving our flags as hard as we can, but our team's playing like they're seeing the wrong flag. We'll talk later! I think it's a list of players currently on the ice. Hey! Yeah? We'll talk later! Go, go, go! This is how we roll! That's it? Let's do it one more time. Attackers fan! Goalie whip! No, no, you have to do it when we're defending. I thought we are defending. Well, now we are. Hey! Yeah? What's the situation now? It's 1-1. We're being pressed hard by Belarus, but our defenders are holding on well. 
This is such a nail bite. As long as we keep the right pairs out, we can stop their lines. Can you explain to me about the pairs and lines? You don't even know about the pairs and lines? How do you even follow the game? Trust me, I don't. Oh, fine. Every team usually has four lines of attacking players and three pairs of defenders. The team usually makes a substitution for the whole line or a pair. So some lines or pairs match better against each other. You mentioned something about keeping the right pairs out? Yes, their fourth line is not much of a concern to us, and their third line can easily be stopped by our first and third pairs. And our first and second pairs are great against their second line, and that surprisingly leaves their first line, which for some strange reason struggles against our second and third pairs. I, I think I got it. Thanks. We'll talk later. Can you make some adjustments to the roster? I could if I wanted. You need to change to the third line. How would that help? First, you know perfectly well that your victory is essential for me, right? Mm-hmm. I did lots of complicated math based on insider knowledge, so please trust me on this one. It'll work. Hmm. Very well. Let's try that. That's it? Let's do it one more time. No, no, no! Oh, my honks! Congrats on the win. It seems Fortune smiled on both of us. Congrats to you two. You can take the painting and I'll send over your father's number. Hey, wait a second. It's the same number as the candlestick collectors. Oh my god, I had it all along. I'll pick it up once I call my dad. I thought I said you've got the wrong number. Dad? Excuse me? It's me, Milda. Your daughter? Are you there? Yes. Yes, of, of course, Milda. What's happening? I followed the clues. The crown, the seal, the painting. You found the crown? Uh, no, just the seal and the painting. Can you get to Italy? Huh? Can you get to Italy? Uh, I think so. Good. Tomorrow, Siena. Piazza del Campo, Western Balcony. Be there. Piazza del... What's over there, Dad? <sighs>
Whoa. So that's actually a painting of Vitotis? The actual Vitotis? Uh, well, maybe. Yours, I need you to do something for me. What is it? I need you to find me a flight to Italy ASAP. What? What's in Italy? My dad. Oh, oh, uh, yeah, oh, okay. Uh, oh, come on, hold on, let me, let me check. So, uh, I'm guessing things went well in Belarus. Kinda had to betray the national hockey team, but found what I needed. I got to talk to my dad. He tried to get the painting himself, so it must be of some importance to his research. Huh. More clues wherever you go, huh? Ooh, uh, by the way, I think I found your plane ticket. Great. It leaves in three hours. Perfect. Should I book it? Yeah, definitely. All right, we should make the last preparations and leave for the airport. So you were doubtful about this portrait of Vitotis? Yeah, the collector said it's fake. How do we know it's fake? Hmm, we need someone who knows more about art. Hmm. Dana. Dana? Dana. Right. I should video call her. Milda! Hey! A live call. This must be serious. Dana, I need your help. With what? By the way, Yoris is also here. Oh. Hey, Yoris. Hey, Dana. We've got an old painting. I need you to look at it and see if it's a fake. Okay. So, this is... Yep, it's a fake. What? How do you know? Well, look at the details. Shadows, light, proportions. For such a painting, the date shown is ridiculous. It's obviously a later work. Anything else? What's the deal with it, anyway? Uh, Milda, uh, I don't want to rush you, but uh, we should really be getting to the airport soon. Right. Yeah, Dana, listen, yours will send you some pictures. I've got to go. I'm meeting my dad tomorrow. Wait, what? You're meeting your dad and you said nothing? It's a long story. Ugh, the suspense. We really should go if we want to catch that plane. Wait, what am I looking for? Remember I told you about the whole crown thing? Uh-huh. See if there's anything that can connect this painting with the crown. I found it! The crown is on his head! Not funny, and I'm gonna be late for the flight! Wait, I think there's another thing missing. What is it? Your sense of humor. Ugh, Dana! All right, don't sweat it, I'm on it. Thanks, love you, we'll talk soon. Okay, bye-bye. Mwah! She sure enjoys teasing you, doesn't she? Don't worry, I always return the favor. Oh, by the way, uh, th that, that's a really interesting shirt. Oh, yeah. I made it myself. Huh. Now, looking at it makes me think of watermelons. Hmm? Uh, because of the, the uh, the, the, the green and, and the red. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I can see that. So, uh, huh. uh, whenever you're ready, let's go. Uh, you ready? Yep. Let's go. While you're away, perhaps I could have a look at that seal you found. It might have some connection with the painting. Yeah, of course. Here, text me if you find anything important. I will. Now, uh, let's go catch a plane. Wow, this place is so empty. What happened here? Dad should be on the balcony. Oh, this goat looks suspicious. Who knows what it's thinking? Hi. Ciao, ragazza. Would you like a balloon? Um, not really. What is happening here? Palio di Sieva, the most famous horse race in the world. Can you tell me more about the race? It would be a pleasure. Since the 14th century, the districts, or contrade, compete in this legendary horse race. Palio di Siena. Jockeys ride bareback around the Piazza del Campo, and the winning contrade gets to gloat in front of their rivals after all is done. It's a pretty big deal here. 
What is that goat doing there? I think someone brought it as a mascot for one of the Kudrao. What's with the two different gas canisters? Oh, H is for helium, and HE is for hydro... Wait, it's the other way around, isn't it? H is hydrogen, and, uh, hmm... Well, I couldn't remember which is which, so I ordered one of each. They both keep the balloons in the air, so not much difference. Bye. You want an apple? Ouch! Oh, are you okay? Yeah, thanks. Um, excuse me. Hello, Milda. Wait, Grandpa? Take a seat, kid. We've got lots to talk about. I'm sure you're as surprised to see me as I'm surprised to see you. Well, yeah, the inheritance letter I received said you were dead. I, I was expecting to find my dad. Ah, it all makes sense now. I fake my death and leave the country, you get the letter, find my clues, and here we are. I'm sure you have, um, questions. Uh, that's an understatement. Where's dad? I wish I knew, Milda. We weren't on the greatest terms with your father when he returned from the States. All he wanted was to find the crown. He was a bit distant, found a few clues he thought were useful. And then one day he just disappeared. Disappeared where? My guess is he was taken by those who were still pursuing the crown. After that, I took a long break from the research. Many years later, considering the political climate, I thought it would be safe to try again. But I was wrong. As soon as I began asking questions, an ex-KGB agent came to my house. That's when I had to flee and fake my own death. What's with Project Koshche? As silly as it sounds, the KGB had a program researching artifacts that possessed some unique traits. The Crown of Vetus was one of their targets. From what I gathered, they assumed it could bend the minds of others to the wearer's cause. How was Dad involved in that? I guess the KGB found out he knows more about the Crown and wanted to interrogate him. Why was Dad researching pagan temples? I'm not entirely sure. He got interested in them as soon as he returned from the U.S. Those marked words that you found in the poem about Vetus, they were the last message I received from your father. He said, they lead to the pagan crown. I never figured out how. Why are you here in Italy? Sigismund of Luxembourg was the only lead I had after I fled from Lithuania. Siena was one of his residences, so I assumed there could be some clues to where the crown disappeared. Did you find anything? Well, yes. In a letter to the Pope that I found in Siena's library, Sigismund had written a short excerpt about Vitoris. He will take the crown and all the powers that come with it to influence all those around him. Once his reign ends, he will have no heirs. The Poles will be weakened, Lithuanians will fight for the crown among themselves, and we will no longer have any threat from the East. Why did you leave me all those clues? Well, you were kind of my last hope. If all else fails, I thought perhaps you'd be up to the task. I didn't expect you to arrive before my, well, my actual death. But you did. And not only that, you managed to follow my leads and even discover new ones. I'm impressed, Milda. You grew up to be a very resourceful young woman. Okay. I, I guess everything makes a bit more sense now. You got the painting from Vlad? Yeah, what's so important about it? Well, I'm not sure myself, but your father was confident it had something to do with the Crown's location. Did you find any seals, Milda? Only one. It's with my friend yours back home. I would have found another one, but I, I ran into some complications. Huh, yes. I couldn't figure out those statues in St. Catharines myself. How did you get inside? Do you have my house keys? Uh, yeah. Then you should have the keys from St. Catharines as well. Huh? While looking for the seal, I worked in a couple of churches as a night guard. First at St. John's, then at St. Catharines. I would have gotten to the seal there, but unfortunately I was stopped by my untimely fake death. Do you know whose seal you found? 
I think his name was Albertus. Albertus Custodus? Yes. Good. That supports my theory. What theory? That the crown was held by the Grand Chancellors. You see, the seal I found, the one mislabeled as a candlestick, was from one of the Radvillas, an extremely influential family. They had plenty of Grand Chancellors in their lineage. Do you by any chance have the list I left in the manuscript? Yeah. Let's take a look. As there were three seals, I believe the last seal would give us a better understanding of who actually held the crown. However, it's not that simple. The seals indicate the family crest, but not the person himself. That's why we need to find the last seal, Milda. By the way, is that my shirt you're wearing? Um... What did you do to it? I hate to interrupt this family reunion, but what am I saying? I'm loving it. Professor, wh what is happening here? You've been a smart rat in the attic for too long, Rokas. Thankfully, your granddaughter brought me right back to you. That is the ex-KGB scum I've been talking about. Did he have the chance to tell you what happened to your father, Milda? What does he mean? Anything that comes out of his mouth is a lie, Milda. Now, now. You just don't want to believe. But that's not my concern. Enough prancing around. Give me the seal, Rokas, or... I'll have to shoot you. A gun in a briefcase. How original. Don't fix what isn't broken, Rokas. Now hand over the seal. You think I'd be foolish enough to bring it here with me? If you shoot me, all is gone. You won't get anything. You're right. We can't afford to lose you. But uh, what if I shoot her? She's expendable. Whoa, 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 I'm not expendable. Right. The grown-ups are talking now. There are too many people here. Exactly. In a minute, there will be one less. And then, all I'll have to do is to disappear into the crowd. Do you want the classic countdown? Or do you prefer to cooperate without one? What's in it for you? The project was a failure. It wasn't a failure. It just wasn't completed. If I'm going to do anything, I should do it now while they're bickering. Supernatural abilities? That's ridiculous. I have a lot of proof that says it isn't. You can't be it Looks like the race is about to start. After this for over 40 years, I am... KGB's dead. It's never dead, Drokas. It just changed names. It looks like the race is about to start. The Soviet Union collapsed. It's over. Perhaps. Planning to be king of the world? You're catching on. <laughs> Good. You won't get away with this. Once I have all the pieces, it won't matter. Couldn't reach it. You truly believe in what you say? There are many things you don't know. Supernatural abilities? That's ridiculous. I have a lot of proof that says it isn't. Run! Some of them could have those silly digital locks. They're easy to crack.
What's take? I'm trying. I've never done this before. Get on that scooter and ride, Milda. I'll catch up. Grandpa? Hey, you second-hand mobster. Can't catch an old man. Uh, I need to hurry. I will try to lead them away from you, but you have to take my seal and find I'll the crown. Ah! Hand it over. Milda, drive closer. You need to take it from me. Wow, that's a crazy story. Then Grandpa looked at me profoundly and said, Good luck, kid, and crashed into the thug's bike, giving me time to escape. Holy macaronis, uh, is, is he okay? No idea. He doesn't reply to my messages. But knowing him, I bet he found his way out of it. <sighs> Any news with the painting? Well, I did some research with Dana, but we didn't really want to mess with anything before you got back. All right, let's give her a call and see what we've got. Dana, we're looking at the painting. 
Tell me what you got. My guess is it's an overpaint. As in there's another painting underneath? Well, yes, but not all of it. What do you mean? It's only partially covered. At least, that's how it looks in some places. Uh-huh. So, how do we get to the real painting? Do you have an x-ray machine on you? No. Right, so there's another option to remove some old coats of paint, but you will be basically ruining artwork. I'll be careful. Just, just tell me what to do. Okay, you need to find some acid, strong alcohol, and a clean cloth. I thought we were preparing to scrub some paint, not organizing a wild party. You should be glad I didn't ask you to get a paint stripper. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me find something suitable. Hey, Dana, do you think the invisible ink will work? It has alcohol and lemon juice in it. Uh, I guess it could. Right, so what do I do now? Pour a bit of the solution on the rag and then slowly start scrubbing the paint. It should turn into this kind of mushy rubber and then come off. Won't it damage the painting? It absolutely will. That's why we should be selective. We should discuss and understand the context first. That way we can keep the real parts intact. All right, let's see. Huh. The symbol, I, I feel like I've seen it somewhere. Well, whoever painted over this face knew that someone could recognize this person. It seems that might be the last wearer of the crown, then. And according to the message, the crown was left at a pagan temple. Interesting. Hmm, what else? I think we've uncovered everything. I agree. We need to figure out who that guy is. Well, thanks, Dana. You were a huge help. All right, good luck, you two. Let me know how it went. Bye. I think it's the same guy from the painting, Launa Sapiega. I think you're right. So as far as we know, he might be the last person to have the crown. Mm-hmm. And if the text is correct, he must have hidden it in a pagan temple. Hmm. But they're all destroyed by now. Likely some church was built on top of its ruins. Is it possible that such a church could still hide the crown? Well, I guess it's not impossible. Hmm. No. A pagan temple in Sapiego Palace territory. Could this be it? I should talk to Yoris about this. Yoris, I have a theory. Uh-huh? I read that there is a pagan temple near Sapiego Palace. I don't think there are any pagan temples there, but I think there's a church. Many churches were built on top of pagan temples, right? If the crown wasn't moved, my best bet would be it's somewhere there. You might be right. However, we still need the third seal. Yep. Grandpa gave me the key from St. Catherine's. He was after the seal, so he got a job there as a night guard. Nice. Ready to go? Let's go. All right. The last seal should be in there. Yep. Let's get inside. Breaking into a church. Feeling like a, like a true adventurer. And not gonna lie. A little bit like a criminal. Relax, we're not breaking in. We've got a key, so it's, you know, we're just visiting. Is that what you're going to tell the judge? Just visiting? Don't worry, we're doing this for the greater good. Oh God, now you sound like a movie villain. Okay, stop, you're making me nervous. <laughs> I'm sorry, let's go. What do you want? Ah, oh, it's you. It's night. Is renovation closed? I'm a famous photographer. I'd like to take a few nighttime interior pictures. Paparazzi, no allow. Ugh, oh, come on. I just... Yush! Out! Out! I call police. Oh, chill. Fine, fine, fine. I'm going. Well, 
That didn't go well. What do we do? Okay, here's the plan. You'll go talk to her at the front door. What should I say? Ask for directions to somewhere. Right, okay. Then, I'll go to the other door and sneak in with the key. Alrighty then, let's do this. <clears throat> Good evening, madam. Ah, do you know how to get to the library? At this time? Huh, um, yeah. Library, very far. That's okay, I just need directions. Um, okay, first, go straight. Straight, got it. It seems to be working. I better be quick. Go straight. Uh-huh. Left. Got it. Cross the street. Yes. Turn right. Mm-hmm. Past big building. And then? Straight. Okay. Oh, Door unlocked. Room lady distracted. I understand. Last seal. Here I come. All right. After that? Finally. Now I just need to figure out where that last seal is. Let's see what it hides. <laughs> what do you know? I can even make a statue's head turn. seem to form a cross. And I've heard that X never ever marks the spot. The last seal. Got it. Time to sneak out and get yours. Don't want me to squeeze you too hard, do you? Silence. It's me talking now. Sorry, boss. You had a good run. I'll give you that, Miss Melder. But it is time for the professionals to take it from here. We took care of the Gorstoto seal. All we need are the other two. <laughs> what was that? I didn't quite hear you. I think she wants to give all she has to us. How convenient. Take the seals from her. Yeah, boss. Got him. You know. 
know, Miss Milder, you and your father, you both had greed. But no vision. I, however, I will change the world. Can you even imagine how the power of persuasion combined with today's mass media can change history? Hmm. Of course you can't. You don't even appreciate the history that is around you. This place you found, for example, it hasn't been open for over 200 years. And you just bop in here for some get-rich-quick scheme. Well, perhaps 200 years later, someone will open it again and find the skeleton of a young girl. Uh -huh. Shoot her. What? Finally. Fool! After her. Get up. We've got more urgent matters to attend to. What was that? Ah, damn kids and their fireworks, right? Huh? The library. You were saying about the library? Ouch! Hey, stop running! Ugh, now what? Ah, my bands! These girls good money, you know. Uh, you seem stuck for now. I should come up with something. And fast. I'm gonna hurt. Mm -hmm. This is annoying. You can run, but... Well, actually, there's no way to run. Ha! Whoa, wait, wait. Did you say go straight? You no listen. I say again. Left! Right, right. Left! Left! Hey, yours! Oh, Milda. Thank you, madame. My friend will help me find it. Oh, boy. Waste time. Did you find it? I got robbed, dude. Wait, what? Professor and his goons took all the seals and tried to shoot me. Damn it. I should have rushed inside when I heard those weird sounds. Glad you didn't. You could have been hurt. Yeah, but I could have, you know, sneaked behind. Throw in, I don't know, a brick at them? <sighs> well, at least you're still in one piece. What do we do now? You still got that one seal, right? Yeah. They'll be heading to Sapiega Park. Let's hurry. Maybe we can catch up with them. All right, let's go. Thug. He's got one of the seals. Uh, oh. What? I didn't expect him to be so... big. Oh, come on. He's all fat, no muscle. Yeah, and we're the athletic dream team. We've got to be rational here. You go try to distract him. I'll think of something. You know what? I failed you once. I won't fail you again. What are you talking about? Yours? What are you doing? Who the hell are you, wimp? 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 Would a wimp do this? <laughs> Ouch. Mm, I'm gonna break you in half, nerd. Oh, boy. That was pretty ballsy. Lock for the seal. underground root system. This isn't normal, is it? Horses and swords.
serpents holding a crown by their tails. These carvings appear to be of women dancing and singing. Oh, this kind of reminds me of Zeus. If I remember correctly, that's how the Baltic god of thunder Procunus was portrayed as well. seal slot. I hope I'm not too late. Oh, I hope it fits. Stop! What? You again? Don't step any closer. I'm not going to let you have the crown. You are an incredible nuisance. Answer me this. Why are you here, Miss Milda? What's your real motivation to go through all this trouble? Selfless hero. What a pathetic lie. When you started this endeavor, you didn't even know I existed. But did you ever wonder why the crown was hidden here, in an old temple behind intricate locks? Because it's cursed? Exactly. Albertos Gorstotos was the first to experience the curse. Skeptical of the crown's nature, he. how do you say it? He gave it a go. His rise to power was magnificent and vast. He died without knowing that his son would be the last of a once mighty family. You're saying that the crown brings an end to the family? It's not me who's saying it. But these are the facts. Radvila the Black was smarter. Instead of wearing the crown himself, he lent it to his cousin Parbora. She became the Queen of Poland. Through her, the Radvila family ruled over the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth. Tragically, her life ended with a miscarriage. The grief stricken monarch never married again, and thus, a dynasty was ended. You're just picking random occurrences from years apart. Trying to rationalize everything is natural, especially when the truth is uncomfortable. The last one. Laura Sapiega, a man with a vision who considered the people to be worth more than his lineage. So he built schools, helped the poor, and promoted religious tolerance. But once his children started dying, he had a change of heart. I guess such is the curse of a parent. No matter if his children were Protestant or Catholic, no amount of prayers helped. So he turned to the old gods. Let me guess, all of his children died without an heir. Precisely. His last son died alone leaving his possessions, including the seals from his father, to the Jesuit order. The curse once created for a king had ended the lives of those who weren't worthy to become them. And you consider yourself to be a worthy king? For me, family is overrated. Real value lies in a man who changes the world. I can accept the price of the curse. insignificant life and forget you ever crossed my path. What do you say to that, Miss Milda? Tempting. But the thing is, I don't believe you. Neither your stories nor your promises. At least I can give you credit for your integrity. Enough talk. I'm here to make history. What the hell is happening? The crown. It's mine. Don't you even think about it. 
I have it. It's mine. Uh, I can't hold on. We're gonna fall. Pull me up right now. I can't. I said pull me up. The crown. I think I can reach it. You're not meant to be taken. Milda! Yours? How did you find your way here? No time for chit-chat, Milda. Let's go. <sighs> Are you okay? I... I'm fine. What happened to the professor? I think he's in the annals of history now. What? <laughs> Never mind. I'll explain later. Where's the big guy? Oh, uh, somewhere far away. His cardio wasn't all that great. <laughs> nice. How did you find me down there? Your grandpa called. Grandpa's okay? Y you talked to him? Yeah. He found me through your hipstagram. Even now, he finds ways to surprise me. I guess grandpas these days are posting their meals just as enthusiastically as anybody else. Ha <laughs> ha. What did he say? He asked if we found the crown. Perhaps we should tell him the crown was never there? And keep him searching for it for the next, what, decade? <laughs> You're right. That would be even worse. It's lost forever yours. Well... I mean, it could have been worse. How? I... We could have lost you. Oh, that's sweet. Uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, you know... Still. Oh, I could have been rich and famous by now. Well, you really think the crown had magical powers? Absolutely. All the evidence pointed to that. Uh, but it makes no difference now. Well, perhaps it's for the better. Magic doesn't fit the modern times. Uh, unless you give it a scientific name. What was it? Uh, psychotronics? <laughs> Extrasensory perception. Telepathy. Right. <laughs> what other mysterious artifacts have you heard about? Really? Gotta say, Milda, I never expected you to be so... adventurous. You know, I'm starting to think it might be a family trait.